hey hotties welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new here how are you guys i hope you guys are having an amazing day anyways so in today's video i actually got a few requests on on making a video about my everyday makeup look and to be honest with you guys my everyday makeup look changes a lot like like four to five months but lately i've been sticking to this makeup look and makeup routine that it's very amazing to me and it's very not simple but it's easy to achieve if you guys know what i'm saying so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i personally catfish people in real life also in social media so i'm going to expose myself and show you guys my secrets on how to professionally catfish people okay okay, okay i'm gonna keep the introduction really short and i will start with the video okay so i did my eyebrows off camera as i usually do to be honest with you guys my eyebrows i don't have like a specific routine like i do have a specific routine but like it's literally the same routine ever since i started my youtube channel nothing like changed about it nothing like dramatic or anything like maybe there's minor changes but not big changes so I don't think I'll ever change my eyebrow routine. Actually, who knows? Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and start with my favorite part, eyeshadow. Also guys, I'm planning to change my intro from Hey Ho's to Hey Hotties. Cause I don't know, I feel like, like imagine someone first time watching my video and like the first thing that they hear is like, hey! It's like, you know, a little bit aggressive so i think like hotties is better than hoes i don't know what do you guys think do you want me to change it or not let me know if you guys are uncomfortable with my intro like if you're not comfortable with the word hoes please let me know okay or no maybe it's not a big deal maybe i'm making a big deal out of it who knows please just let me know okay okay now for my eyeshadow i always use the same eyeshadow for my everyday makeup and it's this palette it's very crusty and old and musty what that means is musty even a real word and the first shade that i'll be using is this it's this brown shade and i'm going to apply it on my eyelids obviously Ooh. Also guys, quick question. Look, take a look at my nails. <laughs> okay. I have a one broken nail, actually two. This one and another nail. But I put a fake nail on it. So can you guys tell which nail it is? I think it's a little bit obvious, I don't know. But let me know, please. There's an imposter among them. Actually, there were two. This one and another nail but um an accident happened <laughs> okay here's the thing i went shopping with my mom the other day and i had a fake nail on okay and then when i returned back home i found out that the nail that i had on went missing like it it was like literally my bare nail like the fake nail went off and i don't know when and where exactly did it go but yeah it was it was very funny it wasn't funny Anyways, I'm just gonna keep. Oh, I love this shade, brown shade. Oh my god, can you guys even see the brown? It's barely there, but I love this color. To be honest with you guys, I really like cold tone browns more than warm tone browns. That was very unnecessary, but yeah. Oh, by the way, now I'm using a darker brown shade, just this one, on a smaller brush, and I'm gonna focus this color white on my outer corners and blend it also guys i really don't understand no actually i do understand everyone on tiktok nowadays have a wolf haircut and it makes me want to cut my hair really badly and here's the thing i, I think i've mentioned this before but i'm gonna mention it again in case if you forgot or in case if you're new here okay I personally have very curly hair, um, obviously this is not my natural hair right now. I mean, it is my natural hair, but it's fried, it's burnt, but like naturally I have extremely curly hair, right? 
and i remember once in the beginning of high school i wanted to change my appearance right so i decided to cut my hair i wanted to cut it to here and i did but with my curly hair i cut it when it was straight okay when it was straightened but when it was curly it was literally to here like right beneath my ear and oh my god it was the worst the first two months to be honest i did not regret it at all because i kept on like burning my hair every single day not every single day but like whenever i shower like i have to straighten my hair because in its natural state which is curly it, it looked hideous it looked really bad so i had to like burn it until i got tired from burning it and everything okay by the way now i'm going to add a shimmer color from this palette and i'm using this shade right over here it's a very dark rose goldish copper color bronze i don't know and with this rose gold right over here like these two and i'm going to apply it using a flat brush back to the story until i got tired of literally burning my hair every single day not every single day but yeah and i decided to go like to school with my natural curly hair it was a disaster but anyways looking back at it and i was like oh my god that was the worst experience i've ever like experienced like i regretted it so much like i just realized me with short curly hair a big no no like a biggie 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 no to the no no but i really i really want to cut my hair i really want to cut my hair but at the same time i don't want to burn it every single time when i have to take a shower you know by the way now i'm using this golden shade and it's really frustrating because i really don't want to burn it but at the same time like a part of me wants to cut my hair and the other part of me like i don't want to cut my hair like i always keep on telling myself like it's not worth it like cutting my hair will do me no good and everything but then i see girls rocking short hair on tiktok actually in all social media platforms and i'm like I want to cut my hair, you know. Okay, now I'm going to start using this black color on a small flat brush. And I'm going to draw a wing. And my wings, like, I usually draw them, like, really long and thick. So, yeah, I'm going to do this while being quiet. So, enjoy the silence while it lasts. Because when I'm doing my liner, I need to focus. And I literally don't even breathe while doing my i don't know because i need to because it needs to be perfect also i have a very like shaky hand so i need to be extremely focused so as i said enjoy the silence This light ring, I swear to god, it's going to give me a heart attack one day. It keeps on falling, I really don't know why. Like it looks perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. But then like when I look away, it falls. Like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and I'm also going to do my other eye off camera and I'll be right back. So I already did my moisturizer and primer and now I'm going straight with cream contouring before putting foundation. I started liking cream contour. Way too much nowadays and first i like to apply it using my hand now that i look like this a complete mess i'm going to start blending it honestly i like cream contour more than regular contouring because i know i feel like it looks more natural like when you apply it first before your foundation comes in and everything but you need to be careful with it like you need to take your time with blending your contour your foundation everything otherwise you're gonna look really cakey and you're gonna look like a whole mess so blending is the key blending is the key for everything to be honest if you want good eyeshadow blending is the key foundation concealer whatever keep on blending and everything it's gonna be okay okay now that i look like this i oh i really look bad uh, it doesn't show in the camera but in reality i look bad but it's okay because i'm gonna put foundation on top anyways 
so as you guys know i like to put my foundation in the center of my face and i start blending it with a brush first My, my father once asked me, he was like, if you want, I can get you a hamster. Because when I kept on complaining how I really wanted a pet snake, but he kept on refusing, he was like, dream on, you'll never get a pet snake. But he was like, I can get you any animal other than snakes and exotic animals, if you, get, if you guys know what I'm saying. By the way guys, a really sad story. I'm going back to uni <laughs> next month and I am mentally not prepared. Not even a single bit. Like I don't want to go to uni. But at the same time, I know I have to go to uni. Like I have to attend uni. Unless a miracle happened and there's a miracle happened and I became famous or something. Which is again a miracle. There's like a really low percentage of it actually happened so i think i'm gonna stick to uni <laughs> okay so i'm going to set my face now okay time to set my face can you guys even see my contour i don't know if you guys can you guys cannot see it right also why does it look really cakey in the camera like this anyways i have two things left for the face uh, by the way, I did my eyes off camera if anyone cares. Um, blush, blush, and highlighter. Oh my god. Oh, I just realized I forgot to turn on my ring light. Um, hold on. Give me a sec. Is this much better? Obviously. Blush, blush. I love blush. Did I ever mention this? How much I love blush? I'm going to put bright pink um, blush, so I'm going to do that. I've been liking really bright, bright pink colored brush, br brush, blush, I meant blush. Like especially in the summer, you know, like with your tan skin, your tan skin and everything, it just uh, makes it look pretty. I used to be against it, but now I love it. I used to be against everything, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to keep on blending. And whatever remaining products, I'm just going to dust it over my tip of, tip of my nose, the tip of my nose. By the way, I'm uploading a video right now and it's taking way too long, like more time than usual. It's a little bit concerning. Is it because of the Wi-Fi or something? <gasps> Messed up the laptop. No, no. Okay. Last Partito Highlight I'm using this highlighter from NYX and I'm just going to apply it where I usually do like apply Ooh, that's pretty and yeah, that's it Nothing too dramatic Okay, last I have is lips So for the lips, first I use this NYX lip pencil in coffee Mm -mm. And um, I don't usually overline my lips to be honest. Like, only on rare occasions I overline my lips, but usually I really don't. The only thing that I do, like, to change my lip shape is I not normally have like a cupid's bow, if you guys can see it. I usually go like over it, like this. You know, so my upper lip becomes more round. <gasps> you guys, you've seen my dimple, right? Look, look closely. I have a dimple. I guess, is that a dimple? I really don't know. 
but I'm going to think it's the most. I'm using this lip stick, which is very rare. I know, I know. But this lipstick is an exception because I love this lip, the color. Like, look at it. It's like light nude shade and it goes well with the NYX. Um, the pencil that I used minutes ago. Okay, this is in Bare Affair. <laughs> and I just put it on the center of my lips. My lips are very chapped nowadays. I apologize. And top it off, of course, a clear lip gloss for a juicy effect. Okay, my beautiful creatures, this is it for the makeup. By the way, I added Smone. Smone? What was that? I added small um, rhinestones right underneath my pupil. Can you guys see it? Yeah, because I don't know. I usually don't put this. I usually don't put gemstones on my everyday makeup look, like when I'm going out. But I felt like, why not? Why not put it, put it on today? Why not? on today you know i felt a little bit extra thank you guys for watching this video also don't forget to subscribe to my channel please and don't forget to follow me on my social media description box down below as you guys know anyway see you guys next week actually see you guys in a few days Mwah. i love you guys so much